Hello and welcome to Race Tech Radio. Race Tech Radio is a weekly podcast based on racing and technology news. I am your host, Justin Richu, and alongside me is Yannick Martin. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can you can go along with the stories we covered today at racetechradio dot com. You can also email us if you wish at racetechradio at gmail dot com. Uh, but Yannick mm-hmm. is going to be the host pretty much for this episode. Yeah, I guess. Well, you, I you, unfortunately you. saw no moto racing this weekend. How how could you really like um, seriously? How could you miss all these races? Well. Especially uh, the IndyCar race. How could you miss yeah, that? Yeah, the IndyCar was at like 9 p.m. my time, and it was just such an awkward time that I <laughs> forgot about it. Like, I wrote it down on my little notepad, mm-hmm. but I was, I, I think I was busy doing, I think I was watching a movie. Uh. I don't know, I watched that girl next door with Alicia Cuthbert <laughs> like three times. Uh, uh. Pretty hot bitch, that is. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, it was an odd time for me, yeah. so I'm like, you know what? I'll, uh, I almost missed it, but eventually said, "Oh, right, IndyCar." Yeah. Well, well that's my good. my my dad came down and like said, "Like, uh, the, there's NASCAR on TV," and I was like, "Uh, yeah, okay, so whatever." And oh fuck, NASCAR. There's IndyCar in an hour. <laughs> Your dad's a NASCAR fan. I don't really know. He just watches it, I guess. So. Huh. That's something. That's yes, something. All right, it is. So I guess we're <laughs> on to results. Yes, uh, so last weekend, during the night between Saturday and Sunday, was the Indy Japan race in the, at the Twin Ring Marigi. Um Not a bad race, actually. It was quite good, except um, it still was presented on TSN, and uh, I have a lot to say about that later. Oh, alright. Another big rant about TSN. Is it me or we're always ranting about TSN every show now? <laughs> uh, you know what? I too hate TSN. Uh, all this week was tennis, which is good, but <laughs> my TV, if you didn't know, I didn't drop $10,000 <laughs> on a TV. I got my TV for free with my bed. Uh-huh. Uh, so when they play on clay courts, uh, uh. because the ball's yellow, it's very difficult to see. Uh, and I don't really know anyone with a ten thousand dollar TV, no. so I'm like, you know what? I'll just uh, not watch it. Uh, but it was down to Federer and Nadal. Yeah. I didn't actually finish watching that. Yes. I was like, fuck! <laughs> how can I watch this? It's like watching the score. That's about it. Yeah. There's cheap TVs at Walmart. <laughs> I went there the, uh, this morning because I had to to go buy some DVDs, some blank DVDs, and there's like HD capable TVs that are pretty. Pretty cheap and pretty large, man. It's surprising. Yeah, I'll probably buy a, a big tube TV. You know what? Thousand bucks for a th- for a thousand I bucks. I, I I think I saw like a uh, a thirty six inch capable HD TV at Walmart. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So something it's, like it's that. Not too bad. They're very cheap. Yeah. Especially if you get a tube because uh, the the cost per out, inch so. is ridiculous. Ridiculously cheap mm. compared to, you know, no, uh, yes. plasma LCD. But that's because people want to hang them on the walls. Everyone's yeah. a fag nowadays. Like who, who I have no hangs prom- a TV on a wall? Exactly. I have no problem for it to take up the corner of my room. No problem with that. So <laughs> I'll look into that. Uh, I guess yeah. I don't know. I I need a TiVo. I think I'm gonna get an Xbox 360 because I've heard. So I've heard <laughs> uh, that it also records television. Mm, I don't uh, know about because, recording though. Well, maybe if you hack it in some way. But well, I heard I heard it works as a TiVo that you, because it has the hard drive. Of course, uh-huh. you can download movies. Yeah, you can download you know all this stuff. It's pretty much an Apple TV, mm-hmm. but it also has the capability to record TV. But that's just what I heard. I that hope it's good, true. Though. But you know what? I'm buying a 360. Like not now because it's I have no be need. Nice. But, you, but you, as soon you as Grand buy Theft Auto, an HD capable TV, then since if you want a 360, would yeah. simply show up better. Ow. Yeah, yeah, but but Grand Theft Auto is coming out ah. plus uh, Assassin's Creed. Those are just great. The 360 has great names coming out there. It's ridiculous. Great stuff. Anyways, not to veer off from the, <laughs> but if you want, you can add your TSN rant in right now. Yeah. Well, you see, TSN. I I don't know what the fuck is their problem. 
these days uh they 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 don't seem to show ah they have trouble showing what they actually want to show if you if you see what i mean like i don't no you <laughs> probably don't t s n first of all t s n is a big nascar fan you see during the weekends there they pass like eight hours a day on nascar oh, it's crazy huge but so that but are they really a fan? They're just catering to I the audience. I don't know, but they so they actually show the races, okay, fully and all, the full yeah. coverage and, and all that stuff. But then that pushes back the IndyCar races to to the night during the night, and well, first they're not live, but second, man, I was so pissed. Each commercial break, they'd cut off some laps, cut off some laps. I, that is ridiculous. About like 40 minutes in, there was a commercial. They cut 40 laps out of the race. What? 40 laps? 40 laps. We came back from a commercial, and Marco Andretti had an accident, and we didn't even know. And we, they whoa, were whoa, rolling whoa. How, on a, how, a, a yellow flag, and that's all. What was the fastest lap? Like 20 seconds? Uh, that is a good question. Because 40 laps... Well, it's a, it mile, depends it's a how mile and a half, and they were... Driving at about two hundred miles an hour, so Yeah, okay. Well yeah, they should show it in its entirety, just put commercials I'm and then so pause pissed. the recorder and then show yeah. It totally makes sense to do that. Uh I don't know why they're doing it this way. We that that we is rather see, retarded. Um the, basically there were three retirements. We missed Vitor Mira's retirement completely. They never even showed the replay. Um, wow. And we missed Marco Andretti's accident. We, we when we came back from the 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 yellow uh, from the break, they simply were on the caution. So, oh, it's ridiculous. What happened? To him? Do you know what happened? Well, uh, Vitor Mira, I think it, it was a mechanical problem. Some hand, it's written handling here. Um, I think it was a problem with the. Uh, the, the, his tearing and all that wasn't working right. well. But Marco Andretti clipped two walls. He kind of slipped, hit the top, the the the, the outer wall, then came back at, into uh, to the center and hit the wall there too. Took him a, quite a bit of time to get out of the car, I think. Yeah, but he's okay. Oh, that that's no good. That's no yep. good. And also, one more retire. Uh, Kosiko Kosike Matsura, <laughs> uh, <laughs> out on the oh, first man. lap. Now. That's like three DNFs in a row or something. Uh, yeah, and that's out of three races. Mm. That's uh, that's an embarrassment, I would plus, call. That. Plus, he was in his home country, so really not a good season for Matsura. Did they have an interview with him? Uh, what what uh, went wrong with his car? He, I, I don't really know. He came into the turn and he, sl the the back simply slipped and he ran into the wall. Ooh. Uh, not much to explain on that. Uh, Not much he could do about that. No, pressure, maybe. I think if he lost the rear going into a turn, I don't think he would have been able to held up, hold up the whole race. No. Uh, unless it was the tires, but everyone's on the same tires. so yeah. I don't know race. what to think about that. But he must be really upset about that. Oh, he was. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping the F-bomb on TSN. <laughs> Anyways, so it was quite an interesting race, though. Uh, quite a quite a few leader changes. Oh, sorry, and um, it was good. There there was a few strategies, uh, different strategies, especially by Frank Kitty and Hornish, who tried to skip the last pit stop in order to oh. to, to try and get it to the front of the of the pack and win the this thing. Yeah. Um, it didn't work for Hornish. He had to pit in the the closing laps. But Frank Kitty was able to to get to the end of the race without having to pit again, but he oh. he didn't win. Uh, our race winner was Tony Cannon. Uh, Tony Cannon from the Andretti Green Racing Team Seven Eleven. Um, great race by Cannon, really. Um, great driving, great battle with the um, the Ganassis. Um, overall, a great race for him. Very happy. Very good stuff. Good stuff. Um, then came behind him Dan Weldon, who finished, he, who almost took the lead in the last laps. Um, every lap he eventually came to close onto Canaan, but didn't, so he finished second. He was very happy. Con congratulated Canaan quite a bit. Um, then third came Dario Franchitti, who was able to 
to continue on with it without a pit stop at the end of the race. So kind of good result for him, though he yeah. could have tried. He he would have wanted to to get higher though, but um, Dario Franchi had just been lapped. Uh, lapped once by Dan Weldon while Dan Weldon was in the lead. Then Dan Weldon went into the pits and eventually took Frankie. De- well, no, since Frankie was on the lead lap, <laughs> but yeah. um, it, Frankie de- at least saved himself from being lapped once with this uh, saving the the last pit stop there. But that's good for Andretti Green though. Yeah, two two cars in the top three, good and uh, that's good because. I don't know. They weren't looking too good before. No, but they really. So hopefully they can pull their season together here. Of course. And uh, the last car on the least on the lead lap was Scott Dixon, the other Ganassi racing car. Um, we didn't hear too much about him the, during the race. He had a rather steady race, I guess. Um, not much, much, much to say. Quite average, I yeah. say. Uh, yeah. Sam Hornish came in fifth. Um, his plans to skip the last pit stop did not work he had to pit in like a three laps to go or something like that um they they tried to do the same thing as Frank Kitty but it didn't really work both of them were actually yeah. hoping for a, 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 a last caution but it didn't come so <laughs> that's a shame <laughs> yes six came came Scott Sharp uh Helio Castroneves came seventh uh, the first pen- the, the the only Penske really in the uh, top no that's the second one really <laughs> the second Penske in the top seven but quite a disappointing race for Penske really um, not much aggressivity they they simply yeah. weren't there uh, and they only led what not many laps uh, forty six yeah so, n- in total so. Not yeah. a very good race for them. Uh, it's something like the first uh, race since uh, somewhere last year or the year before that both Benskis were lapped. So not looking yeah. good for them this weekend. Let's hope they can maybe try to push it up a bit next weekend. I wouldn't doubt it. Mm-hmm. Back in the USA, so. Um, eighth came Jeff Simmons. Thomas Schechter took the ninth position. Buddy Rice, Danica Patrick, and Darren Manning, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Um, average la- average race for Danica Patrick, really. Um, bad bad start, I'd say. She had a lot of trouble uh, gaining speed in, the, in the, the first part of the race, then was able to get the speed back, then lost the speed again. A, a very wobbly race for Danica Patrick, and she actually was waving around the track a few times too. So, average, average race. Huh. AJ Foyt the fourth came thirteenth. Sarah Fisher fourteenth, and Ed Carp- Carpenter the last car to finish the almost finish the the race fifteenth uh, with eight laps down. Um, aye, aye, aye. That's a lot. Eight laps. That's that's a fair bit. Of course. And Andretti, Marco Andretti, uh, had an accident as he said that earlier. Vitor Mira did not complete the race after 50 laps done, and Kisuke Matsura obviously did none. So still scored a nice 55.5 thousand though. That's, yeah, uh, that's good. It's pretty nice for one lap, <laughs> <laughs> one corner. Yeah, really. <laughs> Gee. Yeah. Oh well. Gotta get signed on to that team. Panasonic paying their drivers pretty well. <laughs> uh so next race is this weekend in uh, I think it's Kansas if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um so you better not miss this one though, but I uh, most likely won't. Uh so the It's on T S N though. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I mm. might, and that's on Sunday, so it may come on who, Monday morning. Why not? I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Anyways. You know, we should put a petition together, or we should just email them a lot. Yeah. Uh, th- it really is ridiculous, because they are catering to the NASCAR fans way too much. And it's not even all NASCAR. There's six sports centers... 
throughout the day. <laughs> more than that. It's there's like eight in the morning, and then there's like eight more during the day. It's like totally unnecessary. There's Sports Center before and after the 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 IndyCar race. Uh, yeah, I hate that because I usually turn the TV on, TV on before that way because everything's subject to change. Uh-huh. Uh so I'm waiting for it and on comes Sports Center tells me the winner and then enjoy the race. <laughs> uh good hate stuff. That. Hate that. Uh, yeah. So moving on I guess. Uh there was another Champ Car race this weekend. Uh I know that we're not really covering it. We're, we are and we're not. So <laughs> you got to make up your mind. Yeah, well, this time I've made up that we're simply going to say the top three and keep it quick and simple, uh, just for informational purposes, I guess. Um, so it was the Houston race, uh, another street course. <laughs> There's so many street courses, it's ridiculous. Um, very m- much much more open, more wide than the other t- street courses, so a little bit more passing, more interest. Um, so basically, Sebastian Bourdais, uh, no, not, was it Bourdais? Fuck. Well, Bourdais won the oh. race. <laughs> <laughs> Bourdais won the race, followed by uh, Graham Rahal, and then Robert Dornboss ended the p- podium, uh, that ex-F1 driver. Um, yep. Bourdais is just simply owning that league. It's ridiculous. What the hell is he still <laughs> doing in Champ Car? He started first, finished uh. first, with quite a lead. So, why is he still in Champ Car? It's really not the series he should have gone to. Uh, that's true. Really, chose it unwisely. Very unwisely. See. But you know what? They do have a nice little. You know, you start at Mazda series. And you move up through the ranks, but once you hit Champ Car, you're, you're, you're pretty blocked. much stuck there. You're stuck. Because F1 isn't looking at Champ Car for people, so. No, they're not. It's funny because someone in uh, <laughs> in GP2 is there for their third season. <laughs> it's like you know what? You're supposed to just use this as a stepping stone. <laughs> you know, show what you got, and then move on. You yes. know, because the F1 people watch it get their next drivers. They don't, you know, oh, this guy's in here for the fourth <laughs> year in a row, and he's still no good. He's a veteran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's basically it for the race results. That's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, isn't that something? Yes, it you is. You know what? I, I was thinking of watching the MotoGP, and... uh I uh, was busy, <laughs> of course, uh, <laughs> but I did turn on the TV. But they were showing the other, other calibers, you know, or whatever you would call them, strokes. No, they all use four strokes, don't they? Two strokes, I don't know. Uh, you know the CCs, right? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking of watching that, but I missed the MotoGP, and they just showed, you know, all the others. You know, I like to see Valentino Rossi and Nikki Hayden, not you know. Nikki Hayden's cousin. I don't, <laughs> don't want to see that shit. So uh, I didn't get to watch that, but it was fun watching them. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of lots of close close stuff, but I don't know. We're not gonna do the results here, but uh, I'll probably watch it from time to time. It's a fun watch in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing to devote your whole weekend to. Of course not. Anyways. I guess that's it, huh? Yes. Wow. Whizzing through, we have one <laughs> article of racing news for you. And uh, this is Yannick's story. Really? Why is that? Yeah. Like? This should be yours, especially that well, you found it. Okay. Yeah, I found it. Uh, I searched a website. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Bernie Ecclestone. He loves dirt. He bought. Not the it, animal. Yes. But the country. What? Not the animal, what? but the country. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He bought the Turkish Grand Prix track. Uh, so, supposedly, allegedly, you know, no one actually knows how much he paid, but they say it's close to $180 million for an interest in the circuit. 
Uh, hmm. He didn't buy the whole thing, of course, but he is one of the, you know... Major shareholders. Main, main shareholder. That is the word. So, do you think this solidifies its place in the F1 schedule? Well, I guess so. Uh, we all know the power of Mr. Ecclestone, and if he says something, it's going to happen, so... Um, I guess having... Well, if he owns the turkey race, he has basically... Turkey assured itself a place in the F1 world now, so. It's good, because I like the Turkish Grand Prix. Good enough. Good enough is for sure. So, <laughs> I I tell you, that, that's about all the news on that. Uh, the man looks cheerful in the picture, <laughs> you gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Anyways. His hair that, is long. That's a, his hair is long. Kind of like a mushroom. Cut. <laughs> uh. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, bull cut sort of thing. <laughs> Anyways, that is all for racing news. We're we're sorry. Also, I would personally <laughs> like to apologize for what happened last episode. You better. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I didn't even listen to it. It's kind of like <laughs> Dignation with the Reno episode. You know, they they don't even want to see it. Uh, uh. I'm not sure what the hell happened there. <laughs> but um it was a disgrace. Yes, and I hope you at least went to anorexicpillow <laughs> dot com to actually <laughs> make sure that uh, uh I covered my own stories in its entirety. Too many. Uh so anyways, we'll we'll stop plugging my website <laughs> and we'll move on to a little article. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we don't have a lot of news. Uh, tech news, it has been amazingly slow. Very um, slow, very quiet. Sure, Apple iPod, right, hit 100 million, right? That That's... Wow. I'm amazed. It's, it's big, right? But it's not huge. It's not huge. big enough. It's it, not it, big it's, enough. It's a number. Exactly. Leopard was postponed, pushed back, Again. and... There's word that iPod, uh, the iPhone may as well. Yeah. It's funny because they actually said um, the reason why Leopard is going to be late is because they had to borrow engineers from the iPhone team mm. to work on Leopard. I, I mean, uh, switch that around. Uh, <laughs> but it's funny because it's not like it's a small company like there's ten people. Why couldn't they just hire more people? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just strange. Ask them. <laughs> Anyways, phone them my story. Phone I, Steve up. Yeah, phone Steve <laughs> up. Uh, all right, so, Mr. Yannick, you're French. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> it's not a French story. <laughs> but um, how much toilet paper do you Fuck. use? <laughs> when you go to the bathroom. What kind of question is that? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. So how many... Well, I don't know. As if I count them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> now, here's a question for you. If Do you think you would be able to manage on a single ply, one square, one square... To wipe up your your business. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> One <the> squack. <laughs> <laughs> it is an awkward story, but do you think you could do it? One square. Uh, that would be rather disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it would. Yes, it would. Uh, personally, I I don't count, but I usually. I like yank it, mm -hmm. and then as it flies through the air, then I like fold it and yes. and there you go. So that's about eight, <laughs> eight squares, and I do that once or twice or three times, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's because I don't like shit on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I buy. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh I didn't God. think you would have heard of this story. Um, so, anyways. <sighs> Some countries, right? <laughs> they wipe, <laughs> they wipe their, <laughs> they wipe their ass with their hand and then wash their hand. But I find that gross. It is. Anyways, 
Cheryl Crow. <laughs> you know Cheryl Crow. <laughs> she is saying, in an effort to help save the country and the environment, she recommends, because of the whole global warming, mm -hmm. she thinks that in one sitting, you should only use one square. Wh what? One square? What the fuck? One square. And uh, Larry David, uh, not Larry David, his wife, Lori, she also uh, advocates this. Uh, is this crazy or what? One ply. One, one is not a lot. Now, maybe for a woman, <laughs> you know, she sits down, <laughs> she takes a piss, and maybe, she maybe, dabs herself off, maybe right? Maybe for a piss, but... What? Maybe for a piss. That's because they <laughs> they use it every time. But for a shit, are you kidding me? Like, There's that no is... That is ridiculous. That is insanity. You know, anyways, I thought that was a very important story to let you all know about. <laughs> Cheryl Crow believes that only one ply should work. Uh, I don't recommend it. I really don't. Uh, because getting shit on your hands is just gross. It is. Um, it's more than gross. So you know what? I will uh, use more toilet paper <laughs> just so I don't get shit on my hands. And uh, anyways, I thought that was that was very important. Uh, <laughs> she did post that on her blog. Hmm. And uh, one of the quotes from it is, uh, one of my favorites is in the area of conserving trees, which we heavily rely on for oxygen. So she really thinks... She re she really thinks that if you don't buy toilet paper every week, mm -hmm. you know, like how often do you buy toilet paper? I buy it usually once when you need it. every two months. <laughs> once every two months. Uh -huh. You know, once every two months, keep it loaded up, right? Mm -hmm. I'm still going to fill up that shelf, you know. Uh -huh. That's not going to stop the company from tearing down the trees and making exactly. it. Exactly. Whether you buy it or not, the companies are still going to produce it. Unless there's a nationwide boycott, <laughs> it's not going to do fuck all. Uh, because we all need to use toilet paper. Why don't you use hemp? But no, hemp is a drug. Oh, all this bullshit. Hemp would be beautiful for this. You know, very cheap. And it, it would do the job. So, you know what? Don't use one Don't use one. Square. Don't use your hand either. Use a rag if you need, but don't use Dude, one. <laughs> you you would break through with one <laughs> one piece. One, your you fingers would slip anything. right through. Exactly, especially when you have one of those gross shits <laughs> where it's like caca. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pudding, <laughs> and, and somehow it got on your cheeks. Oh man, it's gross. <laughs> now, <laughs> anyways. This is it is ridiculous. <laughs> now that's not tech news, uh, as you might have noticed, <laughs> but it is. I find it very crazy how uh, people take the global warming thing it is. way, way out of proportion. Oh, like annoying. people with their prices. How can they say global warming when they say all the glaciers are like melting and shit? And when right now in Labrador, there's like hundreds of boats stuck in ice. Well, <laughs> okay, global warming. Where is the global That's, warming in there? Well, no, they mean global climate change because it's not only warmer, it's colder as well. Like, hell, this year in New York, no, was Easter cold was year. colder than yeah. Christmas. Hmm. That's unheard of. When you think of that, yeah. Easter, yeah, colder than Christmas. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think it's all retarded bullshit, yes. especially when you're driving your stupid fucking gay-ass, overhyped, overpriced Prius to your private jet. You know what? You're, you're not really saving... drive a Prius. It uh, probably has I, like something like a Land Rover private jet. You know what? I wouldn't, like I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. But you know what? People just think... It's like a monument. They think they're doing better for all, but you're not. You're not doing anything. All right, let's uh let's look look around oh, on no. CBC here. <laughs> I do that Echo Stone story came from TSN. 
Really? Yeah. I didn't I didn't actually check the source on that. I just got it from Autoblog. Uh one of my one of I may one of my favorite sites. I like looking there. Uh also what I found recently is uh the Google homepage. Uh it's kind of cool cuz it shows me the weather. Shows me Mhm. I, I don't know what I I don't know what else it what else it does. Uh but it does a fair bit. I I would think about putting it as my homepage, uh-huh. but I don't really use a homepage because I I just have it as blank. Oh. That way as soon as I because I open a browser like 14 times every hour. Yeah, I do that too. But I have Google as a homepage. So it's just See, loads when, fast. When I, yeah, I have the simple I, Google so it goes fast. Uh, yeah. Uh by the way, mm-hmm. I I know you told me not to bring these up. Uh but you just typed to me <laughs> <laughs> send me that paper link. What <laughs> paper link? <laughs> the toilet paper thing. Oh, the toilet paper thing. Yes, oh, okay. You, you know what? I uh, I misread that because <laughs> I read it when it popped up in the corner, uh-huh. and I thought it said ink. Oh. And I said paper ink. <laughs> I don't have paper ink. <laughs> oh, that was on CBC. It was on CBC, <laughs> yeah. Good thing on CBC uh, is hockey. Playoffs right now. Are, whew, good stuff. Playoffs are crazy, aren't they? Ah, yes. The Flames lost, though, yesterday. Well, on this weekend. Yeah. The Red Sea is no more. <laughs> but that cra- hey, that, that <laughs> goaler thing on, uh, I think it was Friday night or Saturday night, um, the M- McLennan, McLennan, whatever his name is, yeah, yeah. the backup yeah, goaler, the simply like turned around. Well, basically the whole story was um, he was trying to the goal, go in front of the nets, of course, uh, keep the nets, and uh, this Detroit guy kept tripping him. He tripped him like three times in a row or something. So whenever... Um, McLennan simply went in back of the of the net to try to to get the puck or something, and the the player yeah. was whistled down. <laughs> the Detroit guy came right beside him, and <laughs> he turned around and slashed him in the face with his with his goaler stick. It's just, re- oh man, that that's Crazy. a little violent. It is very. <laughs> And the funny thing is the NBC announcer, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the, oh my god, just keep that, on that. That was funny. That. Uh, Anyways, he was immediately pushed off the ice. <laughs> and Cooper Soft took the goals again, so... And the Nets, or whatever. Yeah, why was uh, Cooper Soft sitting out? I don't know. <laughs> really. That's a good I question. I don't understand there. why the hell they did that. Yeah. Nor Man, that I. guy must have an anger problem <laughs> or something. <laughs> like. Probably. Jeez. See, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of violence in hockey. Uh, all that I I love, I advocate violence. That's good stuff. But uh, sometimes you take it too far. All right. So enough. Yeah. Let's talk a little about revision three. Revision three is cool. Revision three is cool. They have good stuff. I believe we've oh. talked about this before, Dignation. but Dignation. we'll talk about this some more. Dignation. Anyways, they have many shows. They have Control Alt Chicken, which is good. Yes, yeah, CAC it's is good, good. But the the only thing is they stopped producing shows for some reason, and I miss it. Yeah, they need to do them more often. Yes. And I really dislike the lab shit because that is really annoying. Mm, so ridiculous. That's an example of how Alex was before. It still is. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just he's not like that as much. <laughs> they have Dignation, which I love. Awesome Everyone stuff. loves Dignation. Dude, I got Do my guys... my dig and Dignation gear today. Oh, yes, really? I got my dig cap and my Dignation t-shirt. Fit perfectly. Great stuff. Fit perfectly. Very comfortable. What did you get, like, minus seven? <laughs> uh, Do you wear hats a lot? Uh, Not necessarily, but once in a while. I right, used to well. wear usually a cap almost every day, like in grade school, but now I don't. Oh. So. Times huh. have changed. Anyways, Dignation is fun. They're on episode what ninety four now. Yes. They're uh, they they've been doing it for a while. Uh, they also have Geekdrome. 
Uh, I watched it once. It's kind of like a comic book show mm-hmm. kind of stuff. I watched like the first um, 15 seconds and then I changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I watched about two minutes because he, he had his mum on because uh. the other co-host was out. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and they were talking about <laughs> comic books. I'm like, oh, this is just embarrassing. Yes. Uh, they have iFanboy. I've Have you ever no, watched that? I, re- I really didn't. No. <laughs> Me neither. Uh, in digital. That's not too bad, really. Jessica Corbin with the big hoots. <laughs> she, she's kind of hot. But yeah, she's, he, she, she's pretty... She's uh, like half. But she's so annoying. Yeah, sometimes she is. She's so... No, sometimes? <laughs> no. No. She is <laughs> annoying. Well, she's, she's not okay. sometimes annoying. Okay, it can't, it she's compensates. A, she's an attention whore. That's what she is. And uh, Will, Will uh, Wheaton. I don't know. Will Wheaton is too excited. Will Wheaton, too excited. I don't like this As guy. bad at reading lines as Dan Heward, <laughs> uh, except for not, not as screwing up and stutter. Mm. Just that it feels awkward. Mm. The other guy. And then. I, don't really have anything to say about Mr. Choi. Yeah, I think it was he, Choi. He, I don't know. He's okay, I, but I not can't at remember. the same time. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. He doesn't feel no. fitted not, in there anyway. Uh, another show, Infected with Martin Sargent. Never watched it. No. I used to like Unscrewed with Martin Sargent on Tech TV. Uh, but that's when he had like a bunch of porn stars on and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I haven't watched it. But, anyways. <laughs> uh, Mysteries of Science. Haven't watched Never it. Watched Not it. my TV. I did to watch it. Not MTV. Haven't watched it no. either. Pixel Perfect. A show all about Photoshop. Little hints. I used to, with, uh, I used to watch a show about Photoshop in the past. It wasn't this one, though. But, uh, I got bored after a while, so... <laughs> well, After you can get bored very just, easily. Uh, lose it, I guess. Yeah. System. System. System, of bad. course. That's good. Not bad. Kind of like a tutorial into like geeky shit, like podcast and servers and I've watched how to, how to pretty much do it your own stuff. Yeah, I've watched one or two good stuff, but they don't have a lot yeah. though. They're like at six or something. So. Yeah, they're they're very short and uh, they they're too scripted for me. Yeah. Uh, the Broken, of course, people that remember The Broken, way back oh, in the day cool. when when The Broken was the first internet show ever. Yeah, but... Pretty much. It pretty much I was. downloaded all the episodes the other day and watched them, and I don't know. It's that's very... your bandwidth's going right there. No, that, that, You're wasting them on okay, stupid shit. But <laughs> it, it, it's not that bad, but seriously, like, it's not good either. <laughs> it's back when... When Kevin Rose was a uh, Kevin Mitnick fanboy, and uh, that's what it's all about. Do, yep. I can't remember if he did the Kevin Mitnick uh, interview in there. Yeah, he but did. I remember the social engineering yeah. and all that stuff. That was some good stuff. Oh, uh, also, sure. Kevin Mitnick yeah. had uh, some good books. The Art of Deception is a great book. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, what were you I was say? trying to see which episode it was in. It's not even written in there. Uh, oh. Let's see. No, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it was a. It, it was there for sure, but I just don't remember which episode it was. So. Yeah. Uh, and the newest show, the totally rad show. Oh, that that that's. <sighs> I want to like it, but I can't. <laughs> I too want to like it. I. Don't like Dan. Dan is probably one of the problem. One one of the things that's causing the problem with this show, probably. Yes, I would say so. He's uh, he's almost annoying to a point yes. where where he he just rambles on about shit. Yeah. Uh other than that I really dislike the green screen. The green screen I really, is not that good. I, I'm getting I used really to it though. This. So that's not too bad, but Yeah, I I like how they pop up the pictures in the back mm-hmm. because they have amazing actor knowledge like they they're saying people names and i'm yeah. like how the hell well, that's like a they've, that's like a b-list actor how the hell did you know their name it. That's for sure, you guess. think so yeah they kind of so? 
give themselves a guideline to talk about shit. And then all right, I, all I'm right. pretty sure yeah, that why not? I can see, but you know what? Their 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 conversations feel natural. Yeah. Because because out of nowhere, Dan brings up something, and then Alex is like that. You know, it doesn't feel yeah. scripted. Uh, it's uh, a good so thing that's though, good. for that. But sometimes you just talk on for too long about the same thing. Sometimes I don't know. Just the maybe it's because the show isn't all that interesting that it makes it long. But uh. well, it's a show that I need though. I need a show that covers television, movies, music, video games. I need something that covers it all. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything that is like a review show that reviews. Mm-hmm movies and shit and I need that and I feel that I can trust Alex's opinion <laughs> and Dan's even though I hate that guy because he seems you know, to know a lot so. he does know a lot and uh, I really appreciate the opinions but that guy is annoying <laughs> uh, also I, I don't know I, I'm still half and half with the green yeah. screen because I like the fact that they can pull up pictures they can pull up trailers they can do all they this stuff do that with it TV of some sort. They could simply have some kind of like their their big HD TV sit around it in a way, and e- even then they could simply put green on the TV and later edit it instead of having the whole back of the screen green. That's true. I like that. That's a good idea, sir. <laughs> you should email them a little something about that. Yes. I also like the the skits in the beginning. Yeah, that's good. They're not they're not necessarily funny funny. <laughs> But it's something to show you that they're actually planning stuff, yeah. and I'm sure things will get much better Let's hope. through the years. Uh, Web Drifter, <sighs> haven't watched it. I believe that's also with Martin Sargent. And XLR 8R TV. Accelerator Never TV. Never watched it. I've watched like the first minute or two of the first episode when they released it, and I didn't catch on, and that's for sure. All right, well, that's cool. Also, by the way, I'm just sitting here. I look at Dignation this week's. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, but out of their things, they have Carlos Mencia steals from Bill Cosby. That is old. That is really old. Oh, they have keep a lot in mind, of old shit on there. Keep in mind they did record this a week ago. Uh, but let's talk about that, shall we? Because we like to ramble on about random shit. You like to ramble on about random shit. I love rambling on. And comedy, I'll let you know, is something I know. I know comedy. I'm a huge fan of stand-up comedy. And even sitcoms, to a certain extent. A huge fan of Larry David. Uh, Anyways, by the way, if you didn't know, Mm -hmm. uh, Ornie Adams was on The Tonight Show. And it's on YouTube right now. Uh, so go check out Orny Adams on The Tonight Show. Uh, Alright, so, Carlos Mencia. He has been outed time and time again uh, by, what's his name? Shit. Joe Rogan. Uh, by Joe Rogan. Uh, anyways, he's outed him on his website, but there was this one time where they were actually on stage together, and they were yelling at each other. And uh, Mencia denied, of course, that he, no, he didn't steal. But now there's video that, yes, he has. Um, there has been some videos before, but this is about Bill Cosby. And Bill Cosby is a king, literally, in comedy. Uh, you, you don't steal from Bill Cosby. You're, you're a fucking retard uh-huh. if you steal from Bill Cosby. Anyways, Bill Cosby, of course, back in the day, he used to have his records. And Anyways, one <laughs> joke was about... <laughs> was about a kid and the father that teaches him football, teaches him how to play football, then he goes into the college plays football, and then when the camera's on him, he says, hi, mom, right? Uh-huh. And then, you know, he's like, you know what, I was the one that taught him all that, and she did nothing. Anyways, it's a comparison video of Mencia's and Bill Cosby's acts, 
and it's blatantly stolen, and you can tell who delivers it much, much better. <laughs> Bill Cosby's version is so much better. Gosh. But he also he also stole from some other guy. He used a skit uh, about Jesus or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I really dislike Mencia. Um, although I I I like the his one HBO bit, which was uh, not for the easily offended. I like that. That w- that was a good one. I enjoyed I enjoyed that. But you know what? It's really hard. For you to like someone that steals from other comedians. Like, that is the rule of comedy. You don't steal other people's shit. You know, they're, they're, sure, it's not, a lot of people watch a show. A lot of people are still going to like Carlos Mencia. But in the world of comedy and comedians, mm-hmm. he's going to be ostracized. Because no one's going to want to talk to him. He's going to be hated. And I already hate him. Anyways, <laughs> that is such old news. Seriously, this is about four weeks old. I, I I don't know. I don't know. Crazy, crazy shit. I can't wait for Dignation. Also, I watched Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. It was late, and I didn't know it was going to be four hours long. Yeah, maybe that, that that's an, the problem. That that's an exaggeration, but it was kind of confusing because they didn't age him at all. Uh. But they went through like the the process of his career getting into the CIA. Okay. And uh, I don't know. It just it it jumped from the 1930s, and I'm like, oh man, it just it didn't feel real. Okay. So I was like. I was like, you know what? This is some confusing shit. It wasn't. I I understood the plot. I understood it, but they went back and forth so much. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, I, that that's about it. I watched <laughs> The Girl Next Door, of course. Uh, where did I get the idea from? Oh, right. I was on Dig, dig.com, of course, and I saw this video uh, uh-huh. <laughs> about who would be most likely to give the best strip tease or something like that. Hmm. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll watch the videos. I only watched one of them, and it was of Alicia Cuthbert, or however you pronounce it. Anyways, uh, so I watched it, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't seen that movie. I should check that out. Uh, so anyways, I downloaded it. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I don't think. <laughs> well, <laughs> I used to watch her on PMK. Did you get PMK over there? Yeah. No. Popular mechanics for oh, kids. Oh yes. Yeah, you remember? Yes. And that annoying kid. I always knew she would grow up to be pretty hot. That was but her. Now, that was her. That's it. that was her calling card. Holy and dude, shit. now she is smoking hot. Oh, she is. She she is ridiculously hot. Now, but back then I was like, and you know what? When I listen to her talk, you don't really see that in her. But sometimes when her the pitch of her voice goes a little higher, then you're like, dude, that's so her. But yeah, that that's where she's from. Wow. Yeah. That is crazy. Holy but fuck. um Yeah. Uh she's also going to be in a horror flick. Uh well I think it's out now. I can't remember what it's called. But I'm probably gonna follow her career. Also <laughs> on a little note, um did I show you the picture I made? Uh no. <laughs> no. Shit. See, that's going to come across as a problem. Dude, Popular see, Mechanics for Kids was filmed in Montreal. That's correct. It was Canadian. Wow. So Isn't that crazy? Is she Canadian? Mhm. Yeah. Nice. She was born in Saskatchewan, I believe. Nice. And she used to go out with uh Avery. No. Avery? Avery? Yeah. Sean Avery from uh, Uh, L.A. Kings. I think she's still going out with him. I'm not sure. I heard they broke up or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Anyways, I found uh, an amazing look-alike. I've been known (laughs) for my amazing eye. (laughs) And I have spotted two people that look so much alike... That it's amazing. 
I I mean amazing. Okay. So my picture, what it is, is it's a comparison. I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name. It's like, how how would you pronounce that? Like email. Email. Yeah. Mm. Email. Email. Yes, I guess. Email. Email. Here, something. Or something. Yeah, he was uh, he was in Lords of Dogtown, which I didn't even know. Uh, also, what he was in was uh, that Alpha Dog with Justin Timberlake, and I compared him to Roger Federer. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's a tough comparison there. It's it, it it's, not it's tough. Bad, but you y- you have to to look quick a bit there. You you have to. It's a little bit of a stretch of the imagination. Very. Uh, we'll put this in shoot the shit. By the way, a little yeah. picture. Um, what it is is it's a picture comparison of two people, uh, Roger Fenner, tennis champion, of course, uh, and then this email <laughs> Hershey guy. Um, but it's not. I'll admit it's not all the time. It's only in some bits. Yeah. Like look at the fourth row, in uh, third row, third row, like the uh-huh. first one there. See uh-huh. that? That looks exactly like the second row. Uh, of I don't know. This is, I should have made like a little grid, but uh, anyways, I thought, holy shit, that is Roger Federer's son. Um, but again, everyone I show it to is like, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. Uh, hey, th- there's a little resemblance, but I don't think a little. Yes. Well, I was good. I was like, holy fuck! That the is... funny one is you've done was the one in the past. Uh, uh, that 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 young kid you compared to the band member from Eyes Around. You remember that? Uh, uh I remember, but who was it? Who was it? Uh, I think it was like some Christmas actor. I don't. <laughs> oh, all right. Play, uh, fuck the the, the yeah, kid. I don't remember either. But yeah, I, that one was spot on. But this one, not so much. Anyways, sorry to take up so much of your time, listeners, uh, <laughs> with our ramblings. But this was Race Tech Radio. Uh, hopefully we get more news in the technology yes. field and the racing field. Um, you know what? I thought we were going to be doing two hours every uh, week. But you know what? I think we might be getting this at one one hour about. Um, also, we are going to look into getting this on some radio, internet radio stations. Uh, we'll look around. We're still a little skeptical of how good our program is. <laughs> yeah. So well, we, we will have, have like to... sixteen episodes under the belt, so that's not too bad. We do have sixteen episodes, and uh, hopefully that's good enough for Smokehouse. Uh, <laughs> yep. Anyways, and uh, oh, just to mention, I guess. Uh, uh, I know we've been like not there on YouTube for quite a while, but uh, they they should probably be back in a month now. So in a month's time, I'm gonna get those videos back on YouTube if possible. That's good. That's good to hear for sure. Um, yeah, I I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> uh, you know what? what it's funny. Said. Because that right. Isabella Brave, you know, I haven't been on YouTube in a long time, but really? I checked out this one Isabella Brave. She she's this singer on YouTube. There's tons of them, but she sings oh, yeah. more of the blues and jazz stuff, which I really like. Um, anyways, she found out how to edit pictures. Oh, dude, it's horrible. <laughs> it's like, it's like eighth grade. Photoshop shit, and you're like, oh man, this is so terrible. And it's like slideshows, and you're like, oh man, this this is horrible. Not not to you know dog her out or anything. She's eh, she has some nice lips. I'll give her that. Haven't <laughs> seen much of the rest of her, but anyways, uh, let's not get into that. All right, so I guess that's all for this episode's uh, of uh, Race Tech Radio. Yes. That is correct. Uh, so <laughs> you can check out Shoot the Shit, of course, which where my beautiful art is, um, at racetechradio.com. You can also check out the articles I write from week to week. Uh, I also post them on Helium. But you can check them out at anorexicpillow.com. 
dot com. You haven't dot posted com. them. You haven't posted any this week. Have you? Week. Have you caught up on all of them? Yes, I did. That is good. That is good. Uh, yeah, I haven't had any uh, stories hit my nerves yet. Yeah. <laughs> T S N. Yeah. T S N. That's a good one. Uh so yeah. anyways, that's all. You also, if you email. want you can email. email us. Email us. Uh Race Radio at gmail dot com. Uh by the way, Gmail, mm-hmm. if you didn't know, Gmail is now free to sign up. You don't need yes. an invitation. So go get them. What is it, two gigs now? I don't know. I don't yeah. Know. It doesn't even matter. You can just sign up for another <laughs> one if you run out of space. All right. So that's another Race Tech Radio in the can. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>